What's up PlayStation Insiders? My name is Dan Thompson with the one, the only Mitsuguchi san creator of Space Channel 5, creator of Res, some really, really hard hitting franchises for the gaming industry. So you're releasing Res VR. Where did you get the inspiration to like go to VR to create more of these very sound, very music driven experiences that you're so used to making? So when I uh, made a Res around 1997 to 19, 2001, so I got the many inspirations, and uh, so the, my inspiration in my mind, you know, the res was VR almost first, but uh, I needed to squeeze the, yeah. my image into the flat screen. But uh, in my mind, the time has come. You know, I wanted to create a res VR. It's a very natural thing, you know. So when I, you know, get the uh, the new technology like you know PlayStation VR, you know, okay, no reason, I don't create. So let's go to VR. So anyway, you know, high res, high def, visual sound and the music, and everything is 3D. Yeah. So have you tried that the PS VR yeah, Res no, Infinite? Yeah, Res Infinite. Is Res Infinite is beautiful. Like we tried it, and uh, it's it's gorgeous. Like it really is. Like having played the original. Like I mean, I was really young when I played the original. Um, that game was very very psychedelic. The music was incredible. It's it was a very good game, and just adding that VR aspect to it, you just have so much more creativity that you can work with. So that was Res, right? That's a new experience. So with the new technology, so. I'm so excited about that, you know, to create a new thing, you know, all the time we are so excited with the, the new technology all the time, you know, then we get the new inspiration. I wanted to add the new, totally new area. So this is area X we call. So I can't say the detail yet, but this is totally new, totally new. So many particles. You can see all particles reacting with the sound and the music, and uh, this is 3D and it's 3D sound. And uh, anyway, please try Res Infinite every oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like a lot of people are actually really excited for Res Infinite. Like it's a game that a lot of people are familiar with, and bringing it to VR, it almost feels like a completely different thing. You, I can really tell that you're so passionate about VR. Like. This is something that's very big for you that you've been waiting ever since you made Res, something that you've been wanting to do. Of course, you know, you can play uh, just on the PS4 with uh, VR, Resident Infinite, you know, I'm talking about that. So, but I am highly recommend you, you know, with the uh, headset, anyway. So, it's a new. Most of your games are very music oriented. They have like very, very solid music, music that very influences the visuals. Were there any, was there anything that you had to specifically go into to make sure the visuals stayed with certain parts of the music? Because you're looking completely around and everywhere. So I have a lot of ideas now, you know. And, uh, but not only Buyo, uh, I think it's in my head, in my head, it's the 80, 90% of Buyo. But, uh, you know, it's like a luminous, new luminous uh, on, uh, you know, smartphone. So this is also, the, you know, very excited about that. Because, you know, when I made the first luminous with PSP, it's over 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, you know, my inspiration was, oh, this is a PSP is like an interactive Walkman. Mm, yeah. So, but now, you know, smartphone, it's like, it's like, you know, interactive Walkman almost. So everybody, you know, you know everybody had to this a yeah. smartphone and with headset, and you can play the game anywhere, any any style, any time, and uh, you know, yeah, I wanted to bring the luminous to smartphone. So the most exciting thing, you know, two days ago we provide a game all over the countries, you know, 169 countries. Wow. 
That's amazing. Yeah, I know yeah. that is. As the time has come, so, so good. So you know, I'm watching the Twitter. You know, it's a <laughs> Germany and a Spain, and uh, you know, the ranking is 22 and you know, 17. So that's amazing, amazing. So anyway, you know, we need、uh, we change a little bit to the pop vertical. You know, not like that, and the touch screen. So, but you know, we spend a lot of time. You know, we had many、uh, experiment,、mm -hmm. and、uh, yeah, we have confidence. You know, this is a new luminous,、mm -hmm. new luminous. So, yeah, we all smartphone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> I mean, as long as like more people try out Luminous, like that's my favorite Vita game. I I keep it loaded on my PSP constantly, so it's uh I, it's exciting to like have it be coming to other platforms. Is there、um, any idea if whether maybe or maybe not Luminous might be coming to PS4, possibly? Um, any possibilities? <laughs> you know, so luminous and res. If we get the new technology, you know, high def, high res, so we can make a new experience all the time. It's a never-ending story、yeah. to me. It's like a life work for me. So never stop. Yeah. Never stop. Yeah. It, it seems like you're always looking towards the next. Technology. You're you're one of the people who push the gaming industry towards VR and something more open. Do you think that there's gonna be something after VR that you're gonna be just so engrossed in that you're gonna want to push and make games for? You talking about the far future? Far yeah, future? the far future. Ah,、uh, so personally, you know,、uh, we at the VR is coming, and、uh, maybe you know, mixing with the、uh, AR. MR, any type of you know the reality technology. So yeah, I think it's it must be fun. Yeah, it must be fun. You know. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I want to create a many things. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So dangerous. <laughs> I mean, so far it's paid off for you almost every single time. Like Luminous has a has a cult following. Space Channel Five. A lot of people still put that up with、uh, some of Sega's franchises. Like even though like it was all the way back in the Dreamcast, it still has quite a bit of resonating power. So when did you decide to start making games that visualized music, like Space Channel Five and Res? Yeah, I had that, that kind of image from the first. You know, when I made the game, you know, the first game was Sega Rally, racing game. So, but、uh, in my mind, I had the many ideas, but、uh, I needed to wait the technology a little bit. So, because you know,、um, the technology like、uh, you know, designing and、uh, dividing and the designing the, the sound and the music. And the quantizing and the reacting with the visual, <laughs> so I think the res and the special and five timing, that was maybe a fast timing error, but that was, you know, yeah. But now we have many many high res high def technology, so the my concept like a synesthesia is getting expanding more and more. So, yeah, I have confidence. You know, that kind of experience is getting rich, and、uh, the game is not only you know, not only fun. The game is feeling good, yeah, and、uh, maybe emotional, yeah, much more. So yeah, so if you play Resident Infinite with the PS Four area X. Maybe you move. I hope so. So I think it's a new experience, anyway. Yeah. So game is changing. Yeah. So speaking of gaming changing, like you're iterating how high definition games are, and 
In about a week, we're probably going to see the PS4K come out, and it's going to have mind-blowing visuals, even higher definition than the current consoles at hand. Like, do you see yourself working a lot with uh, 4K, or...? Yeah, I, I hope so. Yeah. yeah, I want to create, you know, with the uh, high def, high res, and uh, also 3D. Yeah. So, and finally, no flame. That means, you know, no limitation. Yeah. So we can use that kind of a power of high-res, high-def technology, sound and the visual. So I think that we can use that for much more emotional movement yeah. thing. So that means, you know, the game is changing. Mm-hmm. Better and better. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've always said, like, I've always iterated to people, some of the most emotional moments I've ever had in games has been when the music combines with the gameplay or story beats so perfectly. With Res and Space Channel 5, like, you're right. Like, I feel like I'm being moved, I'm being immersed in these worlds because the music, the visuals, it's all something that's completely unique to games. And you seem to be like one of those people who are always pushing technology to make that even more and more and more effective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. Totally I agree with you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so the game is very unique form, the media form, art form, entertainment form and uh, no, no limitation. Yeah. So the form is changing, the changing. So yeah, we can't stop <laughs> to create. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. Mm, yes? Yeah, yeah it, it's, it, you seem to be like the sort of person that's just like, yep, next thing, what's the new technology? How can I utilize this to the best of my ability? I think that's, that's super awesome that you're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy. Uh, I I think the happiest moment mm-hmm. now in my history. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I want to keep my creation mm-hmm. anyway until I don't know when. Yeah. But I want to keep go on. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. This was an awesome interview. Yeah, Res Infinite comes out on PlayStation VR during the launch window. Um, you should pre-order it. You can get it on the I Am 8-Bit store. There's a collector's edition that's still available. Like, it comes with those pins. It comes with an awesome vinyl. Music in it is incredible. So when you're just multitasking, you can just put those vinyls in. So make sure you go check that out. And also, Lumines is, is it free on phones? No, it's the uh, Alrighty, alrighty. So, but it's always like... Like, just don't buy coffee. Like, (laughs) sacrifice one coffee. $3. Um, And pick up Lumines on mobile. That is, uh, if you didn't experience um, PlayStation Vita and PlayStation Portable, then, yeah, no, you really should check it out because um, the gameplay is really solid. So, thank you, Tetsuya. It was awesome. Yeah.